With this test I'm going to start playing with my P and I values in the PID controller. See what difference adjusting the P and the I term makes. Now I am uh, going to do the P and I adjustments. First off let's have a look at what we've got. 10, 15 and 10 and 15. So I'll start with the roll PIDs. I'll reduce them down to zero. Actually, first of all, I'll leave the roll I at 15, roll P at zero, and we'll fly with that. Tiny little bit of wind around. Uh, not levelling itself or anything. That's just the wind doing that. I'm not doing any inputs really. Roll P zero. Kind of, kind of holds. Drift off to one side there. How do I describe what it's doing? It's kind of staying at the attitude. I've rolled left a bit there and it's just holding that, gradually going back to level. Right, let's increase the P a lot, see what it does. Um, bring up the values and we'll go up to 20, see if we can notice any difference. Okay. Save and Seems more sort of uh, precise or it kind of sticks where I put it. Does it overshoot? Seems to be wiggling a little bit around the around the sort of center position maybe. Doesn't make a lot of difference. Triangle mode. Back to acro. It's doing maybe one oscillation or past, so it's not too bad. Might go back to zero and compare it again because there's not a lot of difference really. It's certainly comfortable flying like that. Oh, I nearly made it. Back to zero again. Doesn't feel a lot different really.
I don't know what difference I'm seeing really. A little bit more wafty maybe. Let's try a really high P, see if we can get some overreaction coming. Going up to 50. So it's just doing one little wiggle past, really, maybe, but perfectly flyable, nice and stable. From zero to 50 hasn't really made a lot of difference, I have to say, for the P. Feels a bit more precise with this high P, maybe. Not a lot of difference. One day I'll land on that runway. All right, so put I, a P back to 10 and we'll start mucking around with the eye. I to zero. <laughs> now there is sort of wandering off to one side. Wandering to the left a little bit. All right, jack the eye value up. I'll go all the way to 50, just to be brave. Okay, I value 50. Staying pretty level. Pretty flyable though, no dramas. Yeah, it's just not drifting off as much.
wind kicking it around a little bit. Probably perfect conditions for testing these things. A little bit of wind comes and goes. So it's perfectly flyable with all of these settings and you really have to uh, think about it a lot to <laughs> pick any difference really. Can't get it to do anything odd. So what's my conclusion? Well, for this plane, <laughs> it doesn't really matter where you put them, but I guess I would, I don't know, put them both at 10 or something like that and just forget about them. More, much more important to play around with the FF feed forward. Increase that so that you get 90% of the throws that you do with manual, then you'll have a nice flying plane. Ah, finish almost on the runway. So that's interesting, very good.